Uh, fuck you, everybody. <laughs> uh, Bitch. It's uh, November the 1st, 2011, and this is the fucking show. Shit, we're still reeling from 9-11. Yeah, it was a month and a half ago, it's and I can't stop dude. thinking about it. <laughs> oh, you're right. Oh, yeah, 10 years. <laughs> It was ten years and a, and one and a half months. You don't even know what fake day it is. Damn, I'm stupid as shit. Look who's throwing up. I was up. stupid too. Is this don't fucking throw cat. up that close to my shit, dude. This fucking cat. God damn it, dude. Yeah, when we walked in here, there was just throw up on the table. Ew. <laughs> This place sucks. <laughs> yeah, dude, you live like fucking. You live like animals. Yeah, <laughs> maybe well, am- literal animals that live here. <clears throat> I mean, I guess it is the Anthony Cumia Studios. Yeah. So it's like we should take it up with Ant. Oh, it's God, fucking in another place. Oh, it's so wet. I don't know if this is. Give how I paper want to start. towels. Shut the fuck up, dude. I don't know if this is. How I want to start the podcast. Let's just restart, and if we want to do it, you no, can start we'll here. do it. We'll start here. Ugh. So it's been a big week, guys. There's been we a lot of things. Just gotta sit here with the puke. <laughs> Yeah. On the floor? Yeah. Well, stop. Let's power through. Stop said he's getting sushi halfway through this one anyway, so. Uh, what yeah. does that have to do with the puke? <laughs> oh, we'll clean it up well, then. Yeah, okay. right. right. Uh, I'm going to order sushi halfway through, so it's here when, I'm, when we're done. I'm a pro. Mm-hmm. Well, we can trade the cat to the Japanese people that <laughs> yeah, bring the yeah. sushi. <laughs> that way we don't have to pay sushi. for it. They're like, oh, thank you for <laughs> the richest ingredient. <laughs> Yeah, the, did you hear about the Chinese guy got a new cat? Guess what its name is? This is my popsicle stick joke. What yeah. is it? What? Uh, ingredient. Nice. Ingledi- ingredient. <laughs> there we go, a little punch up. Yeah. <laughs> it works uh, on two levels. I'm going to submit yeah. that at the weekend update. That's good, man. That'll did you hear about you the there. Chinese guy that uh, got a pet cat? <laughs> Guess what he named him? Ingredient. <laughs> perfect. Folks. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Yeah, yeah that's that's so, a winner. Yeah, some uh some fucking uh so it was uh it was raining the other day and some mm-hmm. guy he was he goes, uh ah, it's raining cats and dogs out here and this Chinese guy ran into his house to get his mixing bowl. <laughs> <laughs> nice man. <laughs> Jeez. Um, that's yeah. Hold on one more. Keep going. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it's a, uh, ch- a Chinese guy went to pet go and okay. uh, he goes, oh, "How much a uh, full buffet?" <laughs> hey, I'm not uh, bad. Yeah, yeah, there right. we go. Cool. All right. yeah. That's good. We yeah. got three. That Dude, was I would off be, the top. I would, of the I would be killing with my grandfather right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How much for the buffet? Is it shitting now? Yeah, it's gonna shit over there. Oh, okay, it stopped. Fuck, man. Yeah, no, it knows to go to shit in the fucking corner. It was so funny. Amber was like, uh, guys, we really got to like, you know, keep the apartment a little bit more clean. I'm tired of all the clutter. And it's like, okay, that's fine. But <laughs> the main problem <laughs> is, is fucking vomit everywhere. Yeah, it's really bad feng shui to yeah. have cat vomit yeah. all over your apartment. Yeah, maybe there wouldn't be so much j- dust on the floor if it didn't have something to stick to <laughs> and fossilize. Oh, God. Don't look at it, dude. Uh, quit Power looking through. at it. It smells, though. You smell. Power through. Power through, dude. Why are you, I'm good. I'm why are you good. coughing good. into the microphone for dramatic effect? I wasn't, it wasn't for dramatic All right. effect. It was a natural getting... physical reaction. All right. Please shut the fuck up. We have to get this episode started. We got to go into It's been a huge week. Yes. Yeah. There's been some bombshells that we yes. need to react to. First and foremost... Um, you know, I think there's like a new MacBook or something. Yeah. <laughs> Did we talk about that, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> it's got a touch. Yeah. Let's, Let's talk about Anthony Weiner's dick, baby. Yeah. No, Jeez. that's a, that's such a great story. My man. I don't know what kind of commentary we could offer on that. That would be any that better. it's hilarious? Than, yeah, it's pretty great. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. It's you so know what's good. fucked up? Is he didn't get to fuck that 15 He's year never one. fucked any of these people, <laughs> dude. <laughs> this is the fucking craziest shit on earth. But no, He's never not. fucked them. I don't yeah. think he that's crazy. He just sexed them. How is that not crazy, dude? I don't His think whole that, career's that, over for sexting? Well, okay. For beating off to no, women no, no, that no. could have been chatbots? It's almost like the, you know, the country could be, you know, it could fucking influence the election now. Yeah. Yeah, he's all right. Schlong. I don't. I think okay. Obviously, that's crazy. I don't think it's crazy. Even if that even he, if that even he doesn't if, fuck the even girls. if Trump that's doesn't insane. win, even if Trump doesn't win, he's damaged the the election to the point now where Hillary has to frame Russia. She's been forced yeah. into framing Russia. As She's this, a conspiracy as theorist. this fucking like extremely dangerous enemy of the United She's States. She's become at like which Alex now Jones. sets the groundwork for uh, the eventual ground war we have with Russia, where all of our do- uh, draft our daughters uh, have, to go, <laughs> have to go fight against Russia. 
Russia. <laughs> it's going to be because Anthony Weiner tried to get a nut off in some some of that fresh 15-year-old gas. Sophomore gash. going into junior year of yeah. high school pussy. How did they catch him? Was that like an FBI agent that's like, I'm 15 years old? Like the Jack Bauer of I don't know. catching pedophiles? Those Who? people always weird me out. The people that oh, pretend yeah. to be children on the internet. Do oh, you yeah, think yeah. they beat off... Well, oh, of they're course, they're also pedophiles. They're like the antimatter to pedophiles. It's do you think like, they're uh -huh. pedophiles? Or do you think they want to get fucked by old men? It's, you're fucked up. Like that's when when that to catch a predator show came out. The weirdest part about any of it is like uh, all of these sting operations are performed by perverted justice, which is an organization that pretends to be children on the internet to try and have sex with grown men. <laughs> and it's like, wait, so was these aren't that, cops? Was that it? Yeah, they weren't cops. These weren't. This wasn't law enforcement. It's people uh -huh. who, in their free time, they're like, we're doing something the cops won't do. And it's like, a, the cops already do that. Yeah. Right. You know, they already have these fucking sting operations. And like, b. What the fuck are you? They were you're probably, sexting. yeah, you're likely like, they were people that were molested as kids that are doing this. And you think they're beating off to it? They're, I don't think I they're think, beating I think off they're probably, to it. Because like, you know when you molest they a kid, they, they, they become, got molested, now they become they a pedophile. Batman. That's what happens. That's or how people they become, become a they become fake, pedophiles. I love it's like that. Like, it's yeah, like vampires actually, not werewolves. Well, that that happens a lot too. Yeah, I'm actually like really into. I'm into like vampires and zombies and pedophiles and wrestling and comic books. Yeah, Halloween. Yeah, I'm really into that show, Walking Dead. Something unique about me is that I'm like really into the Christopher Nolan Batman movies and the television show Walking Dead, which is. I know kind of like a sort of a it's niche a fringe yeah it's sort of yeah. like an esoteric thing to be into is the most popular movies of 2009 <laughs> yeah and uh, and the show about uh, zombies which is something I've always loved and not not just a thing I've, I've started paying attention Fuck to when zombies dude zombies it was, became so mass gay. marketed Zombies yeah, are zom the dumbest fucking. Yeah, uh, well, like, were vamp it, it, vampires were the thing, and then they went to zombies. Vampires the, are at least kind of cool. The zombie. Dawn of the Dead remake was good. That movie was yes, good. it was. I saw and it. I, I saw that, and I was like, yeah, this is a lot of fun. But I was like, in no way, I'm a zombie guy. I'm like, right. that was a great, like, that was a uh -huh. lot of fun to watch that, that movie. movie. Yeah. And then all these fucking retards were like, yeah, I'm really into like zombies. You know, yeah. I know that's. <laughs> I'm kind of fucking uh, you know, almost, revealing myself. Well, yeah, there here. was all those like memes about zombie apocalypse. Yeah. That was like the yeah, big yeah, thing. Yeah. It's like, oh, God, yeah, yeah, so lame. Yeah. Well, one of the one of the fucking uh, the break segments I did was from this like people have been asking about him in particular. I've used this guy like three times. There's a guy uh, on uh, on YouTube named uh, Kage uh, Kage Noaku, <laughs> uh, and his display name is that sodding gamer. <laughs> Which, my favorite type of nerd is the guy from America that uses British, British slang. Oh, British God. Would, would a bloody, would, would a bloody way to, oh, bloody hell. <laughs> oh, I can't be arsed to go to work today. Saying, oh, lines what cues. a daft, what a daft <laughs> fellow he is. You know? Uh, yeah. Right, I'm yeah. just taking the piss. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> that kind of shit. Well, so yeah, this guy, that side and gay. Who's who got went viral a couple of years ago because one of his videos is him sitting in his backyard and his mom's taping him. First of all, this guy's like thirty two years Hell old. Hell yes, uh, balding horribly, looks awful, Hell looks yeah. like absolute shit. He looks like a fucking fat autistic Klaus Nomi. <laughs> and uh, and he's like he's sitting there with his younger brother who's got like an even more of like a basement rat sort of thing oh, going no. on. And he's like, okay, this is my katana unboxing. And he has like <laughs> this weird accent he made up. It's not a regional accent. He just sort of ducks like this. And he's oh, like, sounds like a Simpsons this character. is actually my first katana. So, uh, you know, there are ones that are uh, some, some, some better quality maybe, but this one is uh, sort of a, a, a mid-range katana. Uh, you know, I, I have one for a while. I think I might have while. seen this video. Yeah, and he's like, you know, they have some at, at flea markets, but those are just, just complete crap. <laughs> like, when is the real... quality of your katana ever going to matter? <laughs> this is a real Hattori When he fucking kills yeah. himself. <laughs> yeah, after fucking... 
45 I, no, years of just never gonna, having he's sex. He's just going to use that katana to open the packaging on more katanas. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only thing you do with the katana. <laughs> the blister pack rating <laughs> yeah. on katanas should yeah. be That's the number it's one cut thing. Through, yeah, the How fucking... quickly can this cut through a sex doll's packaging? <laughs> yeah. How quickly can this cut through a real doll? <laughs> yeah. There's that. If and my then... real doll displeases me, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know that guy kills his fucking real dolls? There's <laughs> that, and then there's the Game of Thrones swords guys that are like, this is like oh, the yeah. and steel. Guy, yeah, with the yeah. claymores and shit, oh, the swords Jesus you can't Christ. even pick up. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, I've used that guy a couple of times, but one of his videos is like, uh, okay, this is uh, how to survive a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> apocalypse. Using only swords. Yeah, using only British expressions. <laughs> uh, he's like, uh, you want to conserve resources and, you know, you want to get a group together. That's one of the, like, the pieces of advice is get a group, which is like, I like to, to him, the idea of forming any kind of social connection with other human beings is only exists in an apocalyptic scenario. Right, 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 <laughs> the idea right. of having friends is something that could only be why. <laughs> necessitated why. by the world ending. <laughs> Otherwise, you know, you just want to live with your mom and make uh, unboxing videos. Oh, my God. That's why those people want fucking apocalypse is to happen because oh yeah be dude i used to hang to, out with them i used to do a bit about when i was like younger uh about like how nerds are just obsessed with like basically any nerdy obsession it, the the prerequisite for them to be obsessed with it is that it exists in a time that's just not now Right. So like yeah. they're like they love the Renaissance because in their mind they would have been a knight and it's like no you've been the guy that the knights make fun of <laughs> right right yeah, yeah. Like our, their modern day equivalents do now or Star Trek's like oh things would be so much better if we lived in space it's like first of all uh, Starfleet is like a military organization <laughs> right. yeah you, they have you'd to have do, to they, make they, it through basic training. yeah you couldn't make it through basic you, they wouldn't let you in space yeah no one on that ship is fat you know how fucking bad you would look in that uniform <laughs> <laughs> that fucking Fucking like Under Armour it would skin show type. every single you flaw. You would look like absolute <laughs> shit. Just like that fucking Pavarotti in a wetsuit. Yeah, uh, to be in space and appreciate diplomacy. Like you're gonna have some fucking asthmatic retard stinking up the sealed oxygen. You know, getting his dick sucked in the holodeck constantly. Which, by the way, they never address that on the show. Is like, oh my god, how much cum must be on the floor of the holodeck? <laughs> And who has to clean that up? <laughs> that would be their job. Yeah. Their job like, would be to yeah, clean yeah. up the cum. Well, that's the why they have robots. I'm sure Data has to do that shit. I feel like that's when it got kind of lazy. <laughs> I was like, I was always laughing about, there's an episode where they give Data, like, or maybe it's one of the movies where they give Data in, like an emotion chip. Yeah, yeah, and then it's he, an like, episode. He yeah. can't stop laughing uncontrollably or oh, whatever. Oh, he's so annoying. Yeah, and he, yeah, he becomes like, you know, obnoxious. And I thought it'd be so funny if they gave him the emotion chip and then he's like, oh, oh my God. Oh my God! And they're like, "Data, what's wrong?" He's like, "I just realized what Worf has been doing to my mouth <laughs> <laughs> for the last nine years." Oh, uh, malfunctioning, yeah, malfunctioning! Yeah. Worf just shoots Worf's him like, in the head. <laughs> get, this, get this motherfucker! I'm gonna tell this little gay ass robot. Yeah, Worf's man, that shit's supposed to be private. <laughs> they're like, Worf, you can't keep fucking Data. <laughs> Number one, make sure Worf doesn't mouth fuck Data. <laughs> This ridge dick. Yeah. <laughs> His horny dick. His horny dick. <clears throat> yeah. That's probably a good dick for fucking. That would have been better if Worf had ribbed. a more like uh, urban perspective. Oh, yeah. I, well, I would love, I love the idea. <laughs> I actually, I wrote a sketch when I was like 19 that was like Worf and LaForge on break. And then they're yeah. like, man, fuck this shit. <laughs> 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 they're like, fuck it. You know, they ain't gonna, they ain't gonna let me wear my Tims on the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> It's just like incredibly racist. It's racist They're like, as hell. Where, where's that crusher bitch? At? I'm trying to smash on that crusher bitch. There's a video wearing that blue ass coat. <laughs> There's a video my friend Ari Stern showed me of the guy who plays Wharf uh, doing Michael stand Dorn. up. Yeah, yeah. At the Improv in L.A. Well, every oh, single yeah, every yeah. cast member was actually a comedian. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. That's how they all got on the show. P. Stu was on uh, Premium. Patrick Gwen's. Stewart was yeah. yeah he was yeah. Uh, he was uh, uh, on. He has two appearances on the Bad Boys of Comedy. Wash they ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why don't these pictures? Look at him. He's laughing. 
Does he know? My man know that when you be eating the pussy, look at look at him laughing. My bitch said uh, the dick gotta be grown. It's gotta be a grown ass dick. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, black folks, beat your kids. <laughs> beat your kids, black folks. Oh, uh, shit. Uh, going back to the asshole, the final frontier. <laughs> These are the forges of trying to get my dick wet. <laughs> oh, man. I would love for Peace Dude to just... I, would I got a it. captain's log for you right here. <laughs> <laughs> I would uh, love to watch Patrick Stewart fuck, dude. He's probably so efficient. Yeah. Well, there he's was got like, a young, hot girlfriend. Yeah, he does. He has a yeah. girlfriend that's like 22, and yeah. he's like... 96 years old yeah, he's old as hell and, and all his these best friend is that guy the all these women got mad at the article they were like check out Patrick Stewart and his girlfriend and all these women were like ah, he's supposed to date a fat bitch that's his age <laughs> you know, like they all get fucking mad whenever one of like their the heroes doesn't want to fuck them. yeah like yeah. the Leonardo DiCaprio shit but it's like fuck man yeah good for him yeah they're like oh he's basically a pedophile a pedophile is a man who uh you know, I have to find a way to criticize. Yeah, he's rich. Because he's enjoying his life. That's, <laughs> the pro that's the problem you really have, is that yes, Leonardo DiCaprio happy. is enjoying his life. This yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is fucking completely transparent. <laughs> he said, no, it's wrong because, uh, uh, because fuck him. <laughs> oh, man. It is how, I mean, that is a little weird, though, to be like fucking 60 years older than the person you're fucking. No, it's not. No, it's awesome. <laughs> it's absolutely, yeah. It's really yeah. awesome. No, it's, you know what, it sucks you, being yeah. old. Being fucking old. Let him fuck if he wants. The he guy, shit. It's, the guy who owns the Viacom. Something's fucked up with that, with that woman, though. The guy who owns, maybe, old man, who owns the Viacom uh, Fortune Sumner Redstone is like on death's door right now oh, and all God. these like young women that he's been fucking are coming forward for the money and then the kids are like coming in the kids are all like 75 years yeah. old <laughs> they're like you can't have father's money you know? there's like this huge but you gotta look up pictures of this dude Sumner Redstone he looks literally like he died 15 years oh, ago yeah. yeah he's he looks so dude, fucking dude how funny. could you fuck like like he's got so much so much paper could you fuck 10 like, billion a real ugly old lady. Ten billion is not that much more than Jim Davis has. No, you were wrong. It's G yeah, Jim yeah. Davis is the CEO of New Balance. Yeah, that's who we were talking about. No, we're <laughs> talking about Garfield. That guy has eight hundred. The same guy. <laughs> Jim Davis. They he started studied, drawing cat cartoons to like he blow studied, up some steam. Yeah, yeah dude, he studied he, business at University of Indiana. He uses the Garfield Bloomington. money. He uses the Garfield money to buy New Balance. <laughs> and then he grew it. Yeah, if you look closely, Jim is always wearing New Balances in the yeah. in the cartoon. That's why he gay. <laughs> that's why. That's why my man gay. He was, you, know, you know, I'm gonna tell you, he be wearing he be wearing New Balances right now, but he got more fucking sandals on inside the New Balances. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, no, I don't. I'm not. I'm wearing Jordans. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> Just ignores him. <laughs> ignores him. Makes up crowd work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, right. My man got sandals on. I'm wearing Look at this Puerto tips. Rican motherfucker. It's like I'm a white man. I'm, I'm, I have blonde hair. It's like none of the crowd can tell. They're the best comedians. I love it. They're fucking so Just good. Just go into the fucking. <laughs> go into Woo! The, that's what Joe Liz was telling me a story. This is like a secondhand thing of he was working with a guy and they were like in minute and they were somewhere cold and the MC every time was like, You're looking oh they look at this guy, he's wearing shorts, I can see your balls <laughs> and no one was wearing shorts. It was just it was just and he was like, Hey man, I didn't see and he asked him about it, he's like, I didn't see anybody wearing shorts. He's like, Oh yeah, he wasn't. He's like well, he's like so what did you say? It's like it kills. It's like that's <laughs> insane. <laughs> like, you would fucking do that. Ah <laughs> uh, fuck. Uh, fuck man. I love bad comedy. 
It's not bad comedy though. If it makes you laugh, it's good comedy. It's good comedy, and also uh, I don't know, they're man. Perf- Come on. I was watching Lawrence no, Owens I... one time doing an act out of him like stepping into a Magnum condom, That's... and it's this dramatic act out. Like I've been putting that shit on like this. You know? yeah. He's like putting it on like a pair of pants, <laughs> yeah. and it was the funniest shit I've ever seen. Well, those guys funny, are performing. Like... They're actually performing a lot. Like. <laughs> Guys like me, like white guy, like I just hold the mic stand with one hand and hold the microphone with the other. I'm like afraid to move my body on stage. They're like actually going for it. I'm jealous of it. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, you're bad too. You're shitty. No, (laughs) yeah, we agree. You're gay and bad and dumb. No, we're all Uh, like that. You move around. Do you do physical stuff? I do act outs. No, you don't. (laughs) No, you don't. I do so many act outs. I do voices. I do, for the listeners at home, I'm known as. Energy Halkius on stage. I'm kind of like a young Dane Cook. I do. I got a big speaking spell bit. Does Dane Cook have a speaking spell bit? Yeah, that was like his first big bit. You don't remember that one? Um, uh, but the thing um, is, the, the, thing no, is, the white the guys that actually bit? perform always sort of pop off, even if they're bad. I mean, like the, fucking Dane Cook, like Robin. I I think Dane Cook's kind of good, actually. Like I think he's, yeah, he I had think some he's good. He had bad. some good. The first he, stuff was good. He gets, I um, never liked Dane Cook. Really? But I was already doing stand-up when he got real popular. Oh, I wasn't at that point. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I liked him when I was I was pretty young. The first one that came out, when he really popped, I think I was in like, I don't know, I was high school or middle or school. Like yeah, that. yeah. Um, but you can have, you can be bad at comedy. I mean, you, shit can make you laugh and be bad. It's oh, cool. I think it's, it's funnier than good. No, no, I'm not mean, I, I don't mean ironically. Like shit, like, like making up <laughs> fake shit is just bad. Yeah, right. It's still funny. <clears throat> it's funny so in like a weird meta context that he would even you would make something fake to get a laugh. I'm but L O is one of the best though. I'm not I'm not shitting it on him. Who? Lawrence Owens. Oh. He's hilarious. Lamar Odom. Lamar Odom, really tight five. Him smoking crack, pretty funny. Hilarious. It was it was legitimately funny and sad. Hilarious. But Great. It was a good bit. It was yeah. really you good. You gotta bit. respect the bit. And then going back to Chloe. No, dude, she's just got engaged to Tristan Thompson from the Are you Cavaliers kidding? after two months of dating. Jesus Christ. LeBron is fucked. That sucks. Tristan? Tristan What are you Thompson. doing, Tristan? Yeah. I mean, I'm sure it's real awesome to fuck Khloe Kardashian. The wackest one? I, I remember, don't know, man. She's got her, she, the when renaissance, she, the Khloe renaissance. When she started dating uh, uh, <laughs> LeVar Odom, where she got married to him, the Onion headline was third best Laker gets engaged to third best <laughs> Kardashian. <laughs> That's some good shit. So funny. <coughs> um, Nick, what is your take on the Kardashians? Yeah. Oh, um, you know, on Star Trek, there's a race. <laughs> there's a race called the Cardassians. Cardassians, yeah. And the Cardassians. The it's Cardassians, basically the same yeah. fucking thing, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and everybody wants to fuck them. Honestly, mm-hmm. when the, the whole plot Kardashians of Deep Space Nine. first popped. Deep, I thought Deep it was really funny because it's you know, uh, Deep Space Nine is actually, uh, it's, people Space. think it's the space station. It's actually the name for Cisco's dick. <laughs> <laughs> How funny is it, too, that the captain is named after uh, the the artist, Who Cisco. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ben, Let me Hussein see that yeah. Cisco. That popped off so big in Baltimore, dude, because he's yeah. from there. He's from yeah, Baltimore. Yeah, well, they used Drew to... Hill. I, Drew Hill. Drew Hill. Yeah. I saw... I, you, went, you went to the Fudge Factory in the Inner Harbor when they yeah. used to sing there. Oh, yeah. I, I saw them as a kid. Yeah. I, didn't, I mean, I didn't find out who the I fuck Drew Hill was no, as no. a four-year-old, but yeah, I mean... And that's a neighborhood in Baltimore? The Fudge Factory, yeah. It's yeah, the Fudge Factory in is a neighborhood. Of, it's where <laughs> it stops from. <laughs> no, <laughs> Drew Hill is a neighborhood. Or a Drew Hill. Hill. It's Drew Hill Park. Drew Hill is a neighborhood. Yeah. Druid Hill. But not Drew, Drew, not D-R-U. But they changed it to Drew. (laughs) Yeah, I guess it sounded cooler. Druid Hill is like this awesome neighborhood with awesome houses. And it's like, uh, it's the the only cool, it's the only neighborhood with cool architecture in Baltimore that isn't getting gentrified. And it's like, oh, I wonder why that is. Is A lot of it's still abandoned and it's like fucked up. Well, it's because black people live there. Every other, it's like, oh. Why won't white people move yeah. here? Why don't like, they take what's it that, away? What's that, that road that goes up works. that's like uh, up through Drew Hill and Bolton Hill? Is it like Dolphin or something? Uh, there is Dolphin, but that kind of that's kind of like on the other side of shit that takes you down to like. Uh, There's a lot of pretty houses over there. The one that's on um, the one that goes like around the park, like off of uh, Lake Montebello. 
that takes you. There's, there's no, there's a road that's off, uh, and it's got like a weird long name that starts with an A. But there's these like oh. six story houses. I don't know. They look like the houses in Charles Village, but yeah, they're like six they're stories huge. tall. They're huge. Yeah, yeah. I went into one of them. It's all like, I mean, I guess it is kind of starting to get gentrified. It's all like artists, kids mm-hmm. who are just like take it over. It was yeah. fucking awesome. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was huge. Uh, but like if that's like people are gentrifying Greek Town because they're like the poor people are white. Yeah, but it's like no one. That's what happened with Hamden. Yeah, exactly. It's like people are like, "Oh, this is such like a quaint neighborhood," and it's like, "You mean what?" Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like we're so all these class. people are on heroin and will stab you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, well, that's what I love about Hamden. Is like uh, you walk around there and it's like all like you know trinket shops and then like designer cupcakes and shit. But then there'll just be like a guy with his shirt off with a swastika on his <laughs> yeah, chest, like yeah, marching down yeah. the street. <laughs> and, then, and then people are like, uh, hello, neighbor. I just moved here. Yeah, and he's get like, the fuck out get of my way. way. Get out of my way. Yeah. <laughs> that Philly is really good for that, too. Dude, yeah. Yeah. Hamden is so funny, though, dude. Hamden yeah. is like the neighborhood. I would get, I guarantee Hamden is the place that leads the nation in white women with mixed race children that say the n-word like for sure yeah, yeah, yeah. just calling their son the n-word yeah. like they're gone, like, disciplining them that way their seven-year-old son in a stroller who yeah, still yeah. got a fucking his pacifier in his mouth yeah <laughs> named after where where he was conceived yeah, yeah. this is my son prison this is my son conjugal visit <laughs> <laughs> Kanye Cole visit. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! Oh, oh man, I love Hamden, dude. Yeah, that Royal Farms. That's, that's the best. The best place that's the best Earth. Royal Farms, dude. Hell yeah, dude. It was like shout that, out Royal Farms. I was at there. I, w- I was crashing with Ben. I went to the, not not the one. No, is is it a Seven Eleven that's on like Falls and and Thirty Six? Yes. Yes. Okay, then the Royal Farms is on like Keswick or something. Yeah, and yeah. 36, yep. Yeah, so I was at that Royal Farms. I told you this story. I was staying at Ben's place, and I went in the morning, and I just got like an oatmeal, and like one of those like instant oatmeals, mm. and a banana, and this dude in like a fucking Mark Echo sweatsuit, <laughs> he's like 10 feet away from me, and he looks at what I'm buying, he's like, oh, you getting that jail food? <laughs> and I was like, excuse me? You know, and he's like... Uh, it's jail food. I, every day when I was in jail, that's what I would eat. <laughs> and I was like, well, it's, you know, it's just oatmeal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's jail food. Yo, I love that. Mickey, our friend Mickey, uh, he he's like... Mickey Coachella? No, no, no. Mickey uh, Friedland. Uh, he fucking... He's funny as shit. He works at... Uh, he works at Golden West. He was a waiter. Yeah. And some fucking like little prison twink <laughs> came up to saw Mickey and he was like, You got some nice little titties on you. He was like, You should go blonde for the summer. <laughs> it was just like <laughs> He's giving him bit like prison bitch advice yeah, of, like yeah, how yeah. to like survive. And he's like, "What? <laughs> We're <laughs> on the outside, yeah. The, yeah, yeah. Per- the guy just got out of jail, and he's giving Mickey advice. He says, "You've got some nice little titties on you. <laughs> you should go blonde for the summer." <laughs> Is Mickey trans? No, 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 no he's no, a he's normal just... fucking dude with big buck fucking teeth. Also, what was that thing, Ben? That phrase, Ben. Over oh, her, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Damn it, Petey spent all my sweatpants money on Doritos <laughs> again. I think yeah. <laughs> spent all my. That's not real, dude. Yes, I'm oh, gonna get Ben. We gotta get Ben. Would make that down. shit up. That's He's not so like you, funny. dude. He's not a fucking liar. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He's not a piece of shit liar that makes up stories. Yeah, about Chargers. Yeah, what Chargers? I was wondering about that. Like, <laughs> oh, <in> my <laughs> cell phone yeah, charger. Yeah. Uh, fucking, I used to live with Cubis and like. It was almost like every day, Cubis was like, oh, I was on the bus, and there was like a tranny getting blown by a crackhead, and the sheriff came on and shot both of them. It's like, Chris, there's no way this happens every single day. Yeah. They're on the fucking bus. There has to be some kind of fucking although, embellishment going on here. Although, if weird shit... I feel like if you look at Chris Cubis, yeah. you're like, oh, I don't have to behave. Yeah, I mean, I don't think being. he was lying. It was just like such an absurd amount of weird shit he well, saw on the bus. Yeah, it's like you could fucking... Yeah. He already sets the tone of like, oh, this yeah, is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's not going to say shit. To <laughs> yeah, yeah, this guy's... No, the best thing ever that the Austin bus system produced is my old roommate Joe Stats posted a picture one time of this like haggard looking fucking overweight middle-aged woman with like uh on the bus and she's reading uh the novelization of dawson's creek (laughs) (laughs) i love that shit i love the books after a shitty tv show where it's like they just trick stupid people by 
posting pictures, like glossy <laughs> yeah, ass yeah, pictures, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, oh, maybe this won't be a book. Maybe I'll <laughs> open it and it'll be TVs yeah, somehow. Be also, <laughs> I'll be watching the TV. The best is the Halo books. I remember seeing a couple of kids <laughs> in high school reading the Halo books, and I was like. Just don't, dude. You just you don't read. Yeah. Don't fucking act like you read books. That doesn't count as reading. What you're yeah, doing yeah. right now is not reading. <laughs> well, why? Like, don't just don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> just fucking play video games. Yeah, exactly. Don't read the Halo book. Yeah, that's fucking a whole nother level of fucking. Yeah, they had a couple of them too. Cause remember they used to sell them in GameStop. Oh my god! If your book is being sold at a fucking video game store, <laughs> that's not a book. That yeah. doesn't count as a book. Yeah. I see like uh like older men on the subway all the time reading the Harry Potter books. Really? Just like like a, older like 60 something year old men alone on the train reading Harry Potter. No. I probably yeah. I probably told this story already, but I was on the subway like uh probably like 7 months ago and this like real like cool black hipster gets on, you mm -hmm. know, like um like Just the, like the, Seton type of guy? Yeah, with like the beard, with like right, the right, mustache. Right. Sort of like the Isis beard, but like yes, a very yeah, well yeah, trimmed yeah. Isis beard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like um, very like wire frame, like circular black Ooh, sunglasses. Yes, yes, yes. A, like a very hip guy. Yeah he's, yeah, wearing, yeah, he's wearing like a future hat, like a Quaker Oats yeah, hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that kind of shit. Yeah, yeah. and uh, he's. Uh, He's got like a uh, like a book bag with him, and he posts up like uh, by the door, you know, like in between the seats, doing a lean. And he like straddles, and he like looks at one side of the train and looks to the other side of the train, and then he reaches in his bag and he pulls out Catcher in the Rye, oh, <laughs> no. and starts yeah. reading it. <laughs> like you fucking loser! Damn, you're a cool ass thirteen year old. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. I feel so That's stupid the best that I still love that well, book. Black hipsters are the coolest people in the entire world. There's nobody that's like... The nexus of cool. That's Yeah, that's, that's, that's the, the yeah. Well, So anytime they fuck up, it's like such a pleasing feels moment. nice. It's like there's like a, you know, it's like a wink from the Matrix to let you know that this is all like a simulation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. I saw one of those guys uh, trip on the sidewalk one time <laughs> and try to like downplay it. It was fantastic. <laughs> what if he just tripped and did a cartwheel into it? That would be tight. Yeah, probably. Probably. He I, just starts dancing. People start throwing money at him. Yeah, it becomes viral, the trip yeah. dance. I love when those dance guys in Times Square or like near the park or whatever, they'll like, you know, they're getting ready to do their dance so they need to like build up like a crowd. But then they, they try to guilt trip you into like watching it. They're like, don't be afraid of me just because I'm a black man. They like say that to white people. Yeah, all the time. And then white people are like, ah, fuck. Fuck. Yeah. I guess I have to watch this. Now. Yeah. <laughs> also, those dudes are always crossed. like in the summer, like shirtless and so insanely cut. Like, yeah. From just, yeah. dancing. Like, from dance. Yeah. 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 And it's like, it makes you feel bad because it's like you're watching and you you got to stop trying to get hard yeah. somehow. It's yeah. so funny that like, yeah, I look at those guys. Uh, no, I got gotcha. you. That's you were That's pretending good. to be gay. We, yeah. No, I'm not gay. Yeah. What? Um, I was talking about something else. To be in that kind of shape, I would have to work out and eat clean for like two and a half years. <laughs> I know. Oh, <laughs> and they do yeah. like the hokey pokey. Right, yeah. <laughs> they it's got like, it from... yeah, It's like fucking, wow, check out Christian Bale's transformation for Batman. It's like, check out this guy's transformation for sleeping on the train. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the role he's playing is yeah. his guy that does pull-ups on the <laughs> yeah. L train. I love seeing like, uh, what, soup, like old guys. Like, yeah. you know, like, you know, 70-year-old guy that's just absolutely brawling. Yeah. Like there, you see those all the time. Like homeless guys, especially. Yeah, so? yeah. That are fucking... Homeless. Well, see, that's the thing. That's how they survive. Like a, if a homeless yeah. guy with your body would die. I'm in a done week in a half. week. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. So you have to be sort of like an animal to to, to live outside. <laughs> that's why they're very sinewy. And, I mean, homeless people of any race. There's no way to make it racist. You can't say that this is a racist thing. I'm saying they're all very. You 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 pick whatever race you like. And fill in the blank. But all homeless wink, people wink. are jacked. Wink, wink, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, you got some little cute little titties. <laughs> you got some nice little, little titties on. You what do you say to that? You should shit? go blonde for the summer. I don't think he was like what. <laughs> I think he just left. That's funny. There was like an older black guy on the bus one time that was like trying to fuck my dad, and my dad got like <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> my dad was like mad about it. He was like he came like home from work all pissed off, and he's like. Uh, I think he was working at like Ritz Camera at the time. He had some like bullshit like eight dollar an hour job. <laughs> so he's already mad. He's like, yeah, I'm on a fucking bus and some guy was like, Oh, you got a tight little ass, I'm gonna fuck you <laughs> I'm like, 
Why are you telling me this? Yeah. <laughs> if you didn't do anything, you shouldn't repeat that story. <laughs> yeah, you just got harassed, yeah. dude. You just got you fucking... Know, by a six-year-old dad getting sexually harassed on the bus. Because <laughs> he sat too close to the back. <laughs> My When I was a kid, we were in... Uh, I'm from Vegas, so like we would go to the strip like when my grandparents were in town or whatever mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so like my my grandma and grandpa were in town we went to the Bellagio yeah and there was oh, this woman yeah. there and she like took my dad aside she whispered something in his ear and then he laughed and walked away and then my grandfather was like what was that my dad just says like super loud he's like it's a prostitute she tried to have sex with <laughs> <laughs> I was like nine years old <laughs> it's like you didn't really need to say it that loud um, alright well we're gonna take a break and then we'll be back after these messages hey everybody Stu Carter here from Atomai.com and I've got Beyblade's Metal Fusion line of fighting tops by Hasbro. I've got the basic tops. I've got electronic version. I've got launchers, grips. I've got the stadium. We're going to put these to the test and see just how good they are. So stand by for a new toy review. Here's some background. Now, Beyblades first appeared as a manga or comic in Japan in the year 2000. The anime followed not long after, and the Takara Toy Company of Japan started producing the Beyblade spinning tops to go along with all that. There were video games released, a movie, and a lot like uh, you saw with Pokemon, here we see the cartoon folds into the toys and the toys makes interest in the cartoon sort of folds on each other. We see that again with Yu-Gi-Oh! and Bakugan. So Stav thinks we should do all of the episodes <laughs> at once in one day, and I say that that's sort of a bad Shut idea. Shut the fuck up. Because, it's not uh, a bad idea. What it's the a fuck? bad idea. It causes like continuity here. issues. What continuity issues? Well, then we pick up where we left off, and we can't remember what the fuck we said in between. I think it's better. I think yeah, if we'll we do it what the days apart, we about. there's more of a chance we repeat ourselves. That's not true at all. Hundred percent. How? True. No, I'm not talking about repeating ourselves. We like bring something back up that we just talked about. Well, that's what we gotta be pros, baby. We gotta be podcast pros. Uh, if you want to be a fucking pro, we could just it like shouldn't be an issue to just record two different episodes a week. What are you talking about? Instead of having to cram, um, I don't want two fucking... episodes into one day and then stagger them. How... I disagree. I think that's more pro shit to do it once. Get one day, the the listeners don't even know it's theater of the mind. You know, where did, did you? Who told you that expression? I heard it from Adam Carolla said it once <laughs> seven years ago. <laughs> the fuck you got it from means. Adam Carolla. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, funny love source. Wine, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Peter, when I was listening to Peter of the Mind, <laughs> when I was listening to uh, you know people talk about fucking when I wasn't fucking, almost all of my like guesses about sex came from listening to people talk about fucking talk on about offline. Really? I think so, yeah. Did you listen on the radio? Yeah, I listened to... I would fucking go to sleep. I would... Listening uh, to Love Line. Listening to Love Line. Whoa. When I was like in, I don't know, sixth grade or and something. you had a like radio that. in your bedroom? Hell yeah, dude. That's HFS. pretty cool. HFS, man. Fuck. We were talking about that on the other episode, weren't we? That was no. shit. You know, if we recorded it earlier today, we'd know. Yeah. Um, right. I went to HF Festival and uh, drank vodka out of a fucking... Camelback. Oh, that was pretty cool. Yeah, wow. it was so crazy when they switched formats. I know. That was like literally <laughs> insane. What is it? What is, I don't know. HFS what you guys was like the big about. alternative. Yeah, HFS uh, is like the legendary like DC college rock radio station. Oh yeah, for those so, t-shirts. They're t-shirts for it, right? Yeah, well, the, yeah, I'm yeah, sure they, they have t-shirts. t-shirts. That's, yeah. uh, no, stop trying to them. butt in with you having some kind of relevance <laughs> here, and knowing t-shirts. what the fuck we're talking about. <laughs> yes, it's a. Oh yeah, I know about station. that. That's the t-shirt radio station. <laughs> no, never mind. Don't explain it to me. I have as much information as I need. It's a famous t-shirt. Shut the fuck up. 
just a famous t-shirt. Yeah, but overnight. <laughs> he lived in D.C. You saw like seven guys wearing it over yeah. the last. Overnight, they switched it to. <laughs> They're uh, famous guys. <laughs> Like Clear Channel bought it, and then overnight they like fired everyone and uh, they yeah. just replaced it with this like that Spanish like bum, 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 yeah bum, like bum, that weird circus yeah. music dun, dun, yeah and then people like, ding, 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 people like protested about it and then they brought HFS back but on a different like uh, yeah it sucks yeah and it sucks now it's like any other fucking Clear Channel like Jack FM bullshit were they yeah. playing like Fugazi and like. Yeah, back well, in the day, yeah. I mean, they played more, like, but, you know, I mean, in Bad the early brains. 90s, if you wanted to hear, like, R.E.M. or whatever. Oh, okay, it, it was like know. college rock. Yeah, right. Yeah, okay. Then that was, like, the only place that it would be, uh, you know, on the radio is, is HFS. Jimmy's do you remember, Chicken Shack? Yeah, do you remember when, uh, <laughs> do you remember when uh, Johnny Riggs got caught with all that child porn? <laughs> No. I remember my mom like having to explain to was me. Was he like the morning zoo was. guy? No, he was like their like one of their main like disc jockeys. Mm -hmm. And uh, in the nineties, like he got I don't know, there was like a heroin bust or something. He was on drugs, but then they found all this fucking child porn. Oh, oh, Jesus double whammy. Yeah, you know, my mom was like, "Yeah, no." He was looking at naked pictures of children, and I'm like seven, and I'm like, "Oh." Okay. Yeah. <laughs> is that wrong? Is it yeah, good? Yeah, I don't know what the why you would do that. Like I didn't understand beating yeah, it just off. Seems like we a talked, weird we talked about this. We've talked about this before, you and I, but I don't think on the podcast. But like, our moms all have so much child porn of oh, us, yeah. like in the bath. <laughs> my mom had a picture of my ass. Just like so. My mom had like a picture of my. I was like reading in my room or something naked or whatever. And I was a kid. My mom like came in. She was like surprised and like took a picture of me. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. And then she like framed it and put it up in the living room. And like friends just would come over and be like, what ass. the fuck is that? Yeah. You know. And I like hide it. And then I'm like, mom, stop putting this up. And she would do it over and over again. I That's... think she like gets some kind of pleasure out of humiliating me. Mm. Do, you, do you think it's like a deliberate own that your mom is? Oh yeah, absolutely. Put an eight-year-old version I don't of think, your ass I don't think in a frame. She's like, I think it's funny. I think everything has to be sort of like a power struggle or whatever. That's so hilarious. she has to do it to wow. assert, like you know, I'm the parent. Right, because right, I won't right. listen to her fucking otherwise. <laughs> so she shows she everybody your little ass dick, your little ass little kid dick. No, it was my ass. It wasn't the dick. <clears throat> my mom had the dicks out, dude. We had yeah. we had like a we had like oh, a picture. three boys, three yeah. boys. Me and my me and my little brothers just little riding baby watermelons. <laughs> <laughs> We're just sitting on watermelons with our little dicks out. <laughs> <laughs> she just had that like next to like like I might even still be like at my house next to, like yeah. my fucking senior just portrait. in giant on the produce <laughs> yeah. side. <laughs> like, yeah, this weird Greek bitch is putting her son's dick on all the watermelons. You, yeah. It's ours now. It's free. <laughs> also, this whole thing that we has don't been to pay on for it. it. <laughs> the bath time pictures of like... Oh, yeah. Now, in retrospect, there were pictures of me and my, my sister was like two and I was yeah. six. Yeah, you know? just like finger Just in a bath. Yeah. <laughs> What? But it's like, what do you do with those pictures, right? It's not yeah, like you just have books you're, like, you're going to want this when you're older. No, I'm not. No. Yeah. I'm not going to want that. I think it's kind of funny. Yeah. See. I think it's kind of funny. You're going to want to see what your dick looks like. Yeah. I think it you is mean, pretty you funny. You know how they like make you do like the handprints in kindergarten or whatever? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah like, and there's like, a, there's like a, a, a wall in your house with pencil markings on it, but of they go dick. horizontal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're like, age eight, age nine. <laughs> I remember me and my brothers would have as little ass kids like dick measuring contests because yeah. they're just like and then one if time you're like your neon green play school ruler <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. no goes up to we would like inches. hold them next to each other oh, we had no okay. idea what wow. was and my dad like walked in <laughs> he was like what the fuck is going on <laughs> and I because I remember the worst one was I, like to cheat we would get hard <laughs> like we would be like we would first just measure them soft and then one one of us realized if you get hard your dick gets bigger and yeah. that's when my dad was like alright we gotta fucking you know what's crazy off. is this is literally how the Greeks invented the Olympics yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first event, yeah. the first event. boy penis <laughs> <laughs> the boy penis event yeah. this is how they invented democracy boy oh, yeah. penis stretching We they had to vote on whose dick was better oh yeah uh, <clears throat> yeah it was um those those were fun times. Did you ever? Uh, my my friend, uh, one of my friends from middle school, uh, he was telling his little brother he his move <laughs> when he was like four. 
<laughs> was to be like, I have a surprise for you. <laughs> Close your eyes. <laughs> and he would over and over again put his dick in people's hands. <laughs> like, That's like a cool ass kid. Ass little kid. Like, who's going to say no to like a little kid being like, I have a surprise? Yeah. You think he's going to put like a gummy bear in your hand yeah. or something? He did it to like his mom, his brother's dad, and his teacher, <laughs> and kids at school. <laughs> I, I remember being, I remember being in like daycare. But he's the king. I was in like daycare in like fucking first or second now. grade, and there was these two kids in the back of the van, like two boys, and they were like uh, just making out with each other, <laughs> and they were like, "Look, we could do it. It's not weird or whatever." And everyone was like, "Guys, stop doing yeah. that." And they're like tongues out, like you know, full on making out with each other. That's incredible. It was bizarre. Yeah. How I remember, old? I'm sorry. I don't know. They were probably like. I don't know, seven. Oh, yeah, what yeah. the fuck? So they didn't know what they were doing, but it's like, you did it in front of everybody. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we're going to have to remember this <laughs> yeah. and talk about it on our respective podcasts <laughs> when, we're all, when we're all 30 year old this men. Out. <laughs> yeah. Damn. I wish I could remember those guys' names. Yeah, so that'd I could, be awesome. So I could so shame we could dox them. them? Yeah, I think one of them actually, it, I don't know, because it's kind of fuzzy who it actually was doing that. Yeah, I just yeah. remember. I think one of them was named Eric, and then I think the other one was this kid, Matt. But there was this kid, Matt, and I forget his last name, but he built a tent. In the corner of the daycare one time. Mm -hmm. yeah. This had to be like 1997 because I remember Titanic had come out and he was obsessed with Titanic. <laughs> oh my God. He loved the movie Pause. so much. Yeah. He had like a picture book of the movie. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. He'd like go through the, you know, and like he'd bring it to school and show it. And so he would play Titanic. You know, he would like, you know, as like, a game. Yeah. yeah. He would like, you know, he'd play Titanic, you know, whatever. And I remember my favorite thing to do in the daycare center was sign up for the computer area and then hold a magnet to the monitor and destroy the monitor. <laughs> <laughs> my shit I mean, that is all you need to know about you as a human being. <laughs> that is that as a baby, basically, <laughs> <laughs> what you loved, you, what you spared, your hobbies were destruction <laughs> and ruining other people's fun. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hold a, hold a magnet to the screen. And then, no shit, I swear to God, blame it on the retarded kid. <laughs> <laughs> There's That's a retarded fucking... kid named Victor. I'd be like, Victor did it. <laughs> that is he hitting ruled for off the... the fucking computer screen and broke it. That's incredible. That's hitting for the Mullen cycle, dude. That's <laughs> yeah. doing everything. Yeah, yeah. Trolling, so, vandalism, vandalism, blaming the retarded, bullying. There was this kid, Matt, and he fucking he was obsessed with Titanic. And then he built a tent in the corner of the room. <laughs> what do you mean on the retarded? Uh, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> this fucking poor kid. I mean, uh, they. I knew it was me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but fuck. So this kid Matt built a tent in the corner of the room out of like blankets and shit, and he like propped it up. And then uh, he brought this girl who was like, like three years younger than him into the oh, tent. Oh no! And I guess they were playing Titanic in there. Oh no! And this, dude. this one he kid drew like, her like one of his French girls. This one kid goes. He peeked his head in there, and then he comes out looking like a ghost. And I don't know what the fuck happened, but he goes, I, I, you know, he was like, oh, you know, he like looked shocked. And we, me and my friends are just watching this happen. And he goes up and tells the teacher, like this, uh, the counselor, John, <laughs> he, you know, oh, he fuck. says something to him. And John's like, you know, drops everything and does that like walk where he's. You know, of speeding up with the yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, just God. the variable speed of him, like fucking increasing. You know, how is he at that tent in like three seconds and he looks in there and then he just rips that fucking kid out of the. Jesus I don't know what the fuck Christ. he was doing there. Oh, no. But he ripped that kid out of there. So I'm assuming he was like, you know, molesting that girl. Or Jesus, something. dude. <laughs> That's hilarious. Just like in Titanic. Yeah, yeah, I know. And I was, was really good. hoping for a wholesome turn. No, somewhere. no, no. It doesn't make what I was doing with the computer sound so bad now, does it? <laughs> I was just learning how magnets work. <laughs> Fuck man, this is this girl in my preschool. I remember I had a I had a partner. You got partnered up for like, and she wanted to play house all the time. Yeah, but her playing house was putting a baby doll in her dress and then yelling at me for not having a job. <laughs> I swear to God. And it fucking freaked me out. I was like this little innocent ass fucking kid. And I, mean, I was like, uh, I don't like playing with Jennifer. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, you don't do anything right. That was what house was. It was fucking so, and like the, she would like pop the baby out and scream yeah. <laughs> and then yell at the kid. I'm not even joking. I remember like when we were yeah, in like pre, pre K, like kids would play house and then like the closet with all the clothes and shit in it, they had this fucking, uh, 
this like green thing that uh-huh. looked like astroturf yeah but it covered your entire body and yeah. i just thought that was the coolest one so i would always choose to be the lawn <laughs> when we played house just so i could wear that thing <laughs> then i did nothing i would just wear it <laughs> just lay down on the floor yeah i wouldn't lay down or anything i guess that's autism yeah, no. Our thing. Yeah. <laughs> I, I want to be the light fixture. <laughs> I remember when I was like eight or nine, my friend Max like figured out how to tape things on VCR. Yeah. Mm. So he'd go into TV Guide and then tape Real Sex, HBO Real Sex. Hell yeah. yeah. So then we like have sleepovers at his house and watch Real Sex. But like, Real Sex wasn't porn. It was a documentary about sex. So a yeah. lot of the time it was like, you know, like 75 year old hippies, like right, doing right, a right. circle jerk. Right. Like, right. that was our introduction to, like, <laughs> to, like, naked people and jerking off. And, like, it was just like, it was like, it wasn't actually. Did you guys beat off in the same room? No, we couldn't beat off it even at that point. Oh, we were like 10, 9 or 10 years old. I couldn't beat off. Did, I could, you, did you ever do, like, beat off where everyone's beating off in the same room at, like, a sleepover? Um, Everyone picks a corner and beats off? No, we did a thing once where, like, my friends. We all had to go to the bathroom and like come. Oh hell yeah! Come like to prove that we could come. The pictures <laughs> of your mom? No, it's still to like Sports Illustrated swimsuit edition. No, so pictures of Adam's mom. They would all pass them around. Yeah, uh, beat off to Adam's mom. <laughs> My mom is. What? Say it. Say it. Sexy? She's a she's a lovely woman. Hot. Yeah. <clears throat> just like really I had a friend that had a hot mom. We found her dildo one time. Ooh. I don't know why we were going through their shit, but I remember <laughs> my, I told my, you my guys- friend Zach finding his own hot mom's dildo, oh, and he's like, terrible. "What the fuck is this?" And he was like, "No, you know," because he's like <laughs> holding it in his hand, just like vibrator, no! and like I'm like, "Yes, no! <laughs> yes, no! dude." She was so she looked like Holly Berry. Oh, she was so friend, hot. My friend Robert, like the house that we used to all get drunk at and yeah. like get stoned at in high school, was because he had a single mom. Oh, and she was a school nurse during the week and then on the weekend she would dance mm-hmm. oh, and so shit. his house would always be free Jesus throughout the weekend but she had that's legit, some Vegas shit right she, there that's Vegas as fuck she had legit the biggest hits of all time <laughs> and like at like 15 years old she's she was the like 100%. ideal of hottest she yeah, was the yeah, yeah. complete ideal of hottest woman you've right, ever seen right, like, right. and we were all fucking in love with her and she used to fuck with us dude she used to like answer the door in a towel and shit oh, and be God. like oh I didn't know you boys were coming over it was a like, towel on her head no yeah, yeah just on her head yeah, yeah. completely it naked. was stuffed into her pussy yeah and it was like it, in retrospect it was really sad there was like a revolving door of like deadbeat boyfriends oh, and stuff oh god but like you know we got to did anybody know, experiment fuck with mom? drugs and alcohol uh, no one fucked his mom. Not even but, later, but but uh, we all furiously no, beat off to his mom. Uh, it, was, it was funny. Was, like those are prime beat off. One of our too. friends growing up, this uh, my friend, like Amir, his uh, uh, his mom had this friend Bill who would come over. Like they both like they knew each other. I think they both taught at like the community college or something, or he did, or I don't I don't remember exactly what the story was. But they were like colleagues of some right. capacity, and. Uh, so they, uh, you know, Bill would always be over, and then I started making fun of him, like, your mom's fucking Bill, your mom's like cheating on your dad with Bill, or whatever. Oh, no. We like, laugh about it, and like, laugh and be like, no, she's not, dude, shut up. And then, uh, and then, yeah, his parents got divorced, and <laughs> Bill Bill's moved in. <laughs> yeah, Bill's his dad now. That's so fucking funny. Yeah. Oh, man. Holy shit, dude. Yeah, I know. That's some real shit, dude. It's a real-ass podcast. This is a real That's like a podcast. real thing that happens in real life. Yeah, we are. I think we should stop calling ourselves Puerto Rican rattlesnakes. I think that's over. I think yeah. we should be real-ass dudes. I'm, the, I'm a real-ass dude, dude. I think, yeah, we should be real. We're the real-ass dudes now. Oh, yeah. I'm real as fuck, yeah. dude. I've never been. <laughs> we gotta have Lewis real. on. I think Lewis would be a good guest. We should actually have Lewis yeah. on. Yeah. I, did, I did his podcast with uh, Amico and Chris Tinkle, who I just met. Who's that? Uh, I don't know. He didn't really say much other than he got mad when Lewis was like forcing everybody to watch videos of two Russian girls like cutting kittens' heads off oh, and shit. Oh, what? Ew. Well, I guess that's real, dude. It's real and that it's ass. That is real. That is true. And it's that's what? pretty yeah. And it's ass. It's real <laughs> and it's ass and it's podcast. That's terrible. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're right. You're right. If we're going to be real ass dudes, which we are, you got to show videos of animals being tortured. God, that sucks. Yeah, we tried that that PlayStation VR thing that Chris guy brought it over. That's just cool, man. Yeah, yeah. I uh, I want I want the kind of virtual reality where you just fucking walk around and fucking shoot guns and shit. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I don't like the walking around aspect because I don't really see how that would work. It's okay with like limited mobility. I want like a little ass room where you go in and you fucking yeah. Because like, I, I don't. Like, I, I honestly head. don't understand how that VR thing would be fun. Uh, with anything where you have to like walk around because you're still just moving shit on the controller. Mm-hmm. You can look around or whatever. What it would be cool for is like driving or flight simulators. Yeah, driving. Or, like a train be- simulator. Absolutely. Like a game where you just stand there and watch trains pass and yeah. look at them. <laughs> An air horn simulator. Yeah. If you could play like a static <laughs> image, but yeah. they're putting in different air yeah. horns. There sounds. was this guy. I, t- I tell you that story about this guy. Me and my friend Matt one day, we were like, oh, we're going to build like a potato cannon. And Matt had this friend John who he knew from like alternative school who was very much autistic. Yeah, yeah. And so he had like John, John had a car. So John picked us up and like drove us to Home Depot and he made John buy everything. Jesus. <laughs> and then made John like assemble it. Oh, and man. so we had to go back to John's house. That's like house. three weeks worth of work as a bagger at Giant. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, it's like you can build a potato cannon pretty easily for like 50 bucks tops and supplies. Okay. Yeah. You need a hacksaw. Uh, like, you know, probably cumulative, uh, PVC pipe. Yeah. You need six. Here's, here's exactly what you need. You need five <laughs> feet of, uh, of two inch PVC piping. Mm-hmm. And you need about a foot and a half of four, four inch PVC piping and then like a reducer and then a cap for the end. And then you need, a uh, like, a ignition for a grill, like a, one of those oh, like really? push button spark mm-hmm. things. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then some PVC cement and shit mm-hmm. and. Like putty, and then like maybe some Can kind of like O ring clamp. Build those out of it. Uh, anything that fits the diameter of the yeah. So yeah, actually, if that you, would be awesome. If you had a two inch diameter cool. dildo, like a floppy ass dildo. Yeah, shooting out of you there. Could, yeah, you, like you would lube up. Your you ass. would lube up. Lube up <laughs> yeah. like ten feet away. <laughs> yeah. Lube up the, the barrel. That'd yeah. be like jackass. And hold on, man. These things are fucking cannons. Like they yeah. shoot. Like they. We the first time we shot off that potato in the woods, uh-huh. we were like, oh fuck, and they like this is a weapon because <laughs> they fire it it's loud as shit it sounds like a fucking cannon oh jeez yeah. and uh it fires potatoes at like you two, just in a 200 public feet park? per second yeah well i shot it down uh uh matt's driveway the first time like we just put it on the ground and i like i did a test shot and I, like just launched this potato and like you know the, it was like maybe six inches off the ground right and it launched and it didn't hit the ground for like probably like 150 feet whoa so it's you know moving with that amount of like for incredible velocity. yeah 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 that's so cool but i uh, know we set it off and then fucking uh matt's that's like, like october matt's, sky yeah matt's roommate this old black guy comes out and he's like that sounded like a gun <laughs> i'm leaving drove <laughs> 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 away probably yeah. smart <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no but he made john do it and fucking john the autistic guy in his house, he had in there like, he, you know, he lived with his parents, but it was like a fucking mess. There was shit everywhere. Wait, he lived with his parents and he had a black roommate? No, they weren't roommates. They were oh. friends. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. So, uh. How old is John? I don't know. He's probably like now, probably like 37. Oh, okay, okay. I thought, I thought for a second he might be like an old ass man hanging out with children. No, no, yeah. no. Yeah, so he lived with his parents and the house is like a fucking mess. And, uh, in like, you know, the, the dining room is like a table with shit all over yeah. it. And then like one section of the kitchen, he has like his Microsoft flight simulator set up <laughs> with like the two monitors and like the, you know, like the, the, the power levers for the flight. And he's like, yeah, I'm simulating a flight from here to Hawaii. And it's just like a shittily rendered image of clouds. <laughs> and he's just like looking at it. And it's like, how long is that? He's like, 14 hours. Jesus <laughs> <Christ>. <laughs> nothing is happening. Like, yeah, no, like, it's just. <laughs> Yeah, he's just sitting there, <laughs> like looking at it. He's simulating the stupidest part of a flight, yeah, just yeah. the waiting part. <laughs> and that's what that shit is, dude. Oh man, that's so good. That's full spectrum. That is awesome. What what enjoyment do you get out of that? Do you think Microsoft Flight Simulator? Yeah, well, train I have simulator no is the weirdest one because it's like you can't even steer the train. At least in flight simulator, you can like, <laughs> crash the plane in the twin You're towers. You're on a track. You yeah. 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 You're on a track. It's about like making sure you get to places on time. So it's about like managing timetables, <laughs> I'm assuming. Yeah, there's been ads for farm simulator. Yeah. Now where it's well, like. Well, that's fun because there's resources and there's like a game oh, to it. No, dude. That's I know. I can imagine. It's farming. like Har- Harvest Moon or Wait, like that a- was on Facebook, right? Wasn't that the I don't know. Thing I just saw it. Did? No, it's like a PlayStation. No, I don't mean like. It's like a PlayStation what was that, Farmville 4 game. or whatever? Yeah, Farmville. Yeah. It's a PlayStation 4 game that's like, you're a farmer. 
That's like that's just a job. Yeah, but there's been jobs. a lot of like like Harvest Moon was really fucking successful, and it's basically that. But that's like a little fucking. I don't know. How is that any Can't different you, like, than fuck, Minecraft? Don't you get like a wife or something in uh, Harvest Moon? I don't you, remember. Like, I never played pigs it. Or something? Sounds like like Roller Coaster Tycoon or Sim City. But yeah, just with yeah, but that's but you know which one was sucks. bullshit. Sim Ant. No, <laughs> <What's> that? <laughs> that game. It's like an ant hill. Yeah, you're an ant, and no, like, you have like an sucks. ant colony, and then the bad guy is a spider, and you have to like make enough ants to eat the spider. Otherwise, the spider will just eat you. Uh, yeah, I guess you have to make Hell more yeah. ants. And all the ants are like, I was talking to my therapist the yeah. other day. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just go to work every day. It was a it's so boring. And it was a tie-in with ants. Yeah. I was making love with a woman the other they day. They had Simcopter, too, and that one was weird because, like, you didn't do shit that helicopters normally do. You're, like, putting out fires and stuff. Oh, right. Yeah. Some, some like, rescue copters do that shit, though. Do they? I think so. When it's, like, a big-ass forest fire. You get choppered in, fucking, put that shit away. What are you talking about? Sorry, a helicopter, dude. Oh, where they like go to a lake and they like get all that yeah, water. Yeah, they suck up, take, suck up all the that water. shit, and then they dump it. Hell yeah, dude. I played, I played The Sims like a motherfucker, dude. And Sim City. Uh, in I the future, the City, we're all gonna have personal helicopters that come and they pull the dumps out of your ass. That sounds pretty good. We'll wipe you from the sky. That Amazon, awesome. Amazon. Did you see that, that Black Mirror episode about that <laughs> <laughs> dump helicopter? Like no, that show sucks. By the way, uh, it's okay. I mean, I love the the I first two episodes. The first two episodes of the first season were great. Yeah, the, but the then pig this one, fucking episode was the incredible. pig fucking episode was good. The one with the the new one with like the ratings one. That one was a shitty episode. They Bryce Dallas stole Allen. that from an episode of Community. Also, oh really? That was literally an episode of Community. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. But you know, it's like well, you know, how about this? I got this new show. It's going to blow you mind. It's about how like the phones is actually like bad yeah, yeah. <laughs> i did that as a as a vine yeah oh did you yeah, so sometimes mobile phones is good but other times mobile phones is bad yeah, I mean, that's, yeah. that's basically what that yeah, yeah. show is no they yeah, had one like, they had one i watched last night it's like what well, if the internet yeah. was the bad guy they, 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 <laughs> they won last night i started watching it and it's like it's a beautiful day today. This is the BBC World Service. It's a beautiful day today in the perfect future world where everything is perfect. And the robot swarms of bees we've created for some reason are operating completely as normal uh, as everyone expected. It's like, oh, I wonder what could happen in this episode. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> there's one that I I haven't I didn't watch, but there's like all these like there's all these like uh, Slate articles and stuff that's like yes, Queen. Black Mirror's lesbian episode does it again. And they're like, this oh, episode has one. nothing to do with technology. It's just a lesbian story, and it has a happy ending. Yeah. That one was like, yeah, it, it isn't. I mean, it sort of is technology related. It was like directed well and written well, and I, I right. enjoyed it for, for that reason. I didn't but, see it. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was kind of cool. It's about like uh, old people who can like, you know, you upload your brain to the cloud when you're ready to die or whatever. Oh, shit. Oh. But the cloud is basically just... Um, you know, you get to choose an era to go live in, so it keeps cutting from like 1984 to 1980 yeah. to 1996, 2002. But the mm. you know art direction is like like really That's fucking. Yeah, it's point. like it looked yeah. like Stranger Things though, and my roommate was watching that episode, and I was like, oh, this is yeah. Stranger but they, you know, they did well. Like 2002 yeah. really fucking looks like 2002. Mm -hmm. You know, and I saw the 80s part. It was very day glow and like yeah, yeah, wham yeah. and yeah, yeah. I don't know why I said wham, but <laughs> <laughs> very wham. It was so wham. Yeah, um, fuck it. I'm a, yeah. Let's. I, I want. I want to make one a Black Mirror episode, dude. Yeah. It's like okay. It's like it's like it's, ne, uh, imagine we find out st everyone has a pacemaker because if that is shit, right? <laughs> yeah. So their hearts don't beat right anymore. But then, what if a pacemaker is they get a mind of their own? You see. <laughs> so now it's making everyone's heart beat too fast, <laughs> and then they're having heart attacks. <laughs> the robot bears we got in the circus. The rape chip in them is still dormant. Yeah. <laughs> no, so they got, you know, it's, everyone's hooked up to a dick sucking machine, <laughs> but then it sucks your dick completely right. off. Yeah. It rips your dick off your body, and then we find out the robots are using the dicks to, as fuel. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I thought the pig fucking episode was so good because it wasn't even. I've never. What, what happened? Technology, they fuck dystopia, pigs for real? like the rest. No, there's a. The prime minister gets blackmailed. Yeah. Um, to fuck a pig on live television. Yeah, or some girl's gonna be, or one of the princesses is gonna be murdered. Or yeah, one of the what? princesses is yeah gonna be killed, nice. and then um, 
you know, the whole episode, they're, like, trying to find a way around it. They're trying to w- find a way to make it CGI of him fucking a pig. And then, like, the he has all these... Spe- they get cut off at every turn. And so, basically, the end of it is the Prime Minister on live television awesome. fucks a pig. Do you get to see that? And then, at first, it, it's cool, because at first, the whole country is watching everyone's in pubs, like, getting really excited. It's, it's like how it would be in real life, right? Yeah, if yeah, Obama yeah. fucked a pig yeah, on TV. Yeah, yeah. Everyone's like, this rules. And then, like, two minutes in, everyone's like, holy fucking shit. How long does he have to this fuck This is so pig? sad. I think to completion. <laughs> so. If you had to fuck an animal, what animal would you fuck? I could I could fuck any animal I want, but I could only fuck one. Yeah, you fuck up to three. <laughs> Pick three. Yeah, I don't know. What's a good animal to have sex a- with? Apparently, my friend Ramsey from college, who was one of the most disgusting humans I've ever met, he would literally like growl at old ladies. Like he was like oh, he loved, he wanted to fuck old ladies. <laughs> yeah, and he wanted he had like he was like a fucking I don't know. He was a real Lebanese when it came to uh, a Lebo. Uh, his uh, <laughs> his his views on women, <laughs> and uh, he uh, he did some research, and apparently horse pussies <laughs> are a lot like human pussies. Yeah, so uh, that's the front runner. I don't think my dick is ever Mr. Hands stuffing a horse up. Let's just it's say. not about. Yeah, you'd have to find a real small horse. Uh, yeah, maybe a toy <laughs> pony. A toy pony. I don't think like I'd ever have the confidence. I, this, to, like, you know, I think about it because like, I'm really crushing this horse puss. <laughs> you made the maybe offer, that's better. You made the offer like, what animal would you fuck? And then I think I'm like, wow, there's so many animals. There has to be a choice. And I'm like, yeah, I would fuck that animal. And then it's no, there's nah, not a single one where you would. That nah, wouldn't be that want. cool. Yeah. People fuck donkeys a bunch in countries. Sheep. Yeah. People fuck sheep. Arabs love fucking goats. Yeah, that's true. That's so true. It's true. Hundred <laughs> percent. No, they got these videos of them on the infrared. You can check it out yourself. You look and they got these. Hel- they got the Apache helicopters yeah. over there. Yeah. And you see on it, they got these two guys and they got a goat bent over. <laughs> and they're both busting and sobbing. Wait, goat. they bend it over Dude, further. Uh, yeah, yeah. Tower. No, they break its legs so they can bend it over like a you know like a girl. Ah, uh, yes. They're doing the awful tower tickets. Yes. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't it says you have to do that in a, in a Kuran. <laughs> <laughs> the Kuran, it's, it's, it's written in there that you have to... Okay. Give, all right. There we, there we, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Maybe like a hand job from an octopus. <laughs> That'd be Ooh. tight. Yeah. Ooh, that's not a... I see where you're getting at. Yeah. Maybe just like take some kind of... Well, you trick, you trick the octopus into thinking your dick stole its gold, <laughs> and then it jacks I you I feel off. like you could rip it off, though. They're strong as hell, dude. Oh, Go yeah, ahead and, and try mean. <laughs> and Go mean. Ahead, I, I, yeah. And Go smart. <laughs> yeah. They know that that's going to hurt. Go they know ahead. they got your dick in its yeah. hand. Well, also, don't, they don't have smart. any bones, so you could technically titty fuck their brain. Mm-hmm. You could fold their oh, brain in half nice. and titty fuck it. Now we're back. I there wonder if it's go. smart enough to know what's happening when you do that. The fucking yeah, dumbass octopus. Yeah, th- then it would knows it's getting raped. <laughs> Could you have consensual sex with an octopus? Uh, yeah. If they turn uh, red, that means they want to have sex. <laughs> if they ink you, that's squirting. Yeah, that's them coming. Ooh, what kind of animals come like big time? Turtles. Like Turtles jizz come? a oh, yeah. lot. Yeah. Dogs a actually don't do. have a, a like they don't nut. They just yeah, fucking leak. Calm. It just they're leaks. Constantly. Yeah. That seems um, so unsatisfying. But no, turtles bust. I, n- I like busting a nice they don't, mataroo. Which animals fuck for pleasure? There's not that dolphins many. Dolphins, for sure. Bonobos, dolphins, dolphins. Bonobos, yeah, Bonobos. Yeah. But monkeys are too fucking muscular, dude. Well, bonobos are like matriarchal. Like, w- there's like a lot of lesbians. Hell they yeah. eat each other's Everyone's pussies pussy and stuff. Bonobos. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's tight. Uh, I would love to look at that. We all heard yes, that was fucking right. podcast. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what was that one? I don't know. One of the fucking... Guys, we fucked the bonobos. It was episode. the guys we fucked in the bonobos. <laughs> so we, we fucked fuck. bonobos <laughs> yeah, this yeah. week. Uh, I fucked Harame, and let me tell you, it has completely revitalized my relationship with Steven. He was cheating on me for like two months, and I was like, okay, we got to talk about this. And he was like, maybe you should fuck a dog. So I did, and I, it's never been better. Our relationship. Um, he just leaked on to me. <laughs> do, do you think, yeah. Somebody told me they got a quarter million dollar book deal. They the good for them, ch- ladies. The ladies, good for them. the fuck ladies. We'll get. We're, we're getting. I don't there. dislike them. I did sound like I dislike them when I said that. I just resent anybody that gets any kind of money. Yeah. I found out too. Mike Lawrence got a hundred grand for winning that roast master thing. Good for Mikey. I'm like, I hope he fucking falls down the flight of stairs. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it'll be okay after, but I, you know, I 
Something bad. Oh no, dude, his athletic career would be done. Yeah, he's, that's he's, true. His act out. He's would a be track over. guy, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love I love when anybody shines off a podcast as a podcaster. Is there a wheelchair comic? There is just right? a million wheelchair comics. Yeah, there's... you seriously ask that question? Is, is it... there a guy in a wheelchair who does stand? There's Eddie Wheels. Well, I guess Cosby sits oh, down. There's fucking. Uh, there was a guy who used to come to Wiseacres, <laughs> the sit down comic. Huh? The 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 sit down comic. Did you yeah, ever see him? He was yeah. a Wiseacres guy. He would show up, and they would have put like a special ramp next to the stage, so you get his motorized wheelchair up to the stage. And he had like CP or something. Mm. And he was this like middle aged white guy who had this like uh, this like African servant. This like what? Uh, yeah, this Are super you yeah, this like like super, a nurse, like a like a super dark black guy that was yeah. just like would hold the microphone for him to <laughs> oh, his God. face, and he'd be like, "Hello, I am the sit down comic. <laughs> <laughs> I would stand up, but I can't, you know." And uh, yeah, it was bizarre. Did he kill? Did he bum? Never. He always bummed. It was the open mic. I mean, right, right, right. The only people that killed were guys that were friends with like. Rob Mayer and Andy Klein and Norm Wilkerson right, and right, 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 right. You know the crew, the Wiseacres boys. Yeah, right, boys. Right, right. Those guys. You know what's so Damn funny? Is like, I boys. think back to when I, you know, I was like sixteen, seventeen, hanging out there, and then like the people I would hang out with, they were like adults in my head, but they were like twenty six, twenty seven, and they would wear like button down shirts tucked into their pants and had like finely groomed like goatees, and they'd get their hair cut once a month, and it's yeah, like yeah, yeah they're like adults, and I'm like now I'm. Older. The same age as we're yeah. older than most of them. I'm like, yeah, I don't know why the fuck they did that. Yeah, we're they all were wearing baseball bitches. caps. <clears throat> What's that? We're all wearing baseball caps right now, except for me. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, well, my life is in shambles. For that's sure. pretty much the episode right there. That's folks. a good one. Yeah. Uh, goodbye.